We are just two weeks into the year 2021, and guess what? One year after scientists first identified the new coronavirus, new strains of COVID-19 have been detected recently and are causing global alarm. The increasingly rapid transmission of COVID-19 has given rise to the possibility of overloading our already strained healthcare systems, and several countries have since gone back to lockdowns. Coupled with unforeseen disasters or accidents, whether natural or man-made, the future of humanity looks grim, to say the least. However, all is not lost. In spite of the great uncertainty and difficult times in which we live, we might have had solace in Stockdale's paradox. The paradox was named after the late Admiral James Stockdale who was shot down in the 1960s during the Vietnam War and became a prisoner of war for the next seven and a half years. All of these were chronicled in his book, titled In Love and War, the story of a family's ordeal and sacrifice during the Vietnam years, which he co-authored with his wife. In an interview with James C. Collins, Admiral Stockdale was asked about his coping strategy, and this was his reply. I never lost faith at the end of the story. I never doubted, not only that I would get out, but also that I would prevail in the end, and turn the experience into the defining event of my life, which, in retrospect, I would not trade. Admiral Stockdale was then asked about those who didn't make it out alive, and this was his reply. Oh, that's easy, the optimist. Oh, they were the ones who said, we're going to be out by Christmas. And Christmas would come, and Christmas would go. Then they'd say, we're going to be out by Easter. And Easter would come, and Easter would go. And then Thanksgiving, and then it would be Christmas again. And they die of a broken heart. Paradoxically, the optimists are the ones who died of a broken heart. Stockdale added, this is a very important lesson. You must never confuse faith that you will prevail in the end, which you can never afford to lose, with the discipline to confront the most brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. The way I interpret this paradox is that neither over-optimism nor over-pessimism would do us good. Instead, it is best to have realistic optimism. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. The pandemic has given us a rare opportunity to cultivate our faith, confidence, and resilience. I have no doubt that we are going to tide over this difficult moment as one united people. It is just a matter of time.